According to all known laws of aviation, there is no way that a bee should be able to fly. But Honeybee Lovely flies anyway, because her ego is just that inflated. M2S is basically an execution check. It's not much more difficult than Black Cat on a mechanical level, but careless mistakes are punished more severely. Just pay attention, be clean, and you'll squish her in only a couple of hours without too much of a hassle. My name's Vera, and I'm here to show you how to smoke this queen in 8 minutes or less. Setup is the exact same as M1, clock spots, color partners, and light parties. The placement of the numbered markers here does matter, so don't put them any closer to the boss. Honeybee opens with a standard raid wide, then begins to introduce you to her bread and butter. Like Black Cat, she'll do a memory test and store Splash of Love or Drop of Love for later. Luckily, Splash means spread, both words start with spa, and Drop means pair, both four-letter words. I'm glad they were nice about naming things and didn't give us another larboard-starboard situation. Then, she'll do a donut or a line and shit explosive honey all over the room. The donut leaves intercardinals safe. Run out with your color partner and support left, DPS right if it's spread. She'll then follow up with whichever mechanics weren't picked. For the line, have one light party to each side, then simply run in. For uptime's sake, the order from the north should be R, T, M, H, with R, T, and M, H paired up if necessary. Honey's tank busters also come in stack and spread flavors. Feel free to invul and stack busters as desired. There's nothing to cheese this time. The spread variety fires off quarter room cleaves, so point them north where they belong and take care to not clip each other or the raid. Now you'll get a raid wide which opens the first beat mini phase. You'll start with a random number of hearts, between 0 and 2. If you get 4, you'll be forced to simp for a few seconds and give Honey a tier 3 sub, which heals her for 1% and buffs her damage for the rest of the fight. There are, in fact, real people who like bees. Don't be one of them. Spreads already hit very hard, so any more than one or two stacks and you'll start dropping like flies to raw damage. Anyway, first up is a stage combo. Read the cast to see if it's center or outer. Here, we got outer, so we're gonna park between the pink lines at max melee. After the first hit, we're gonna run back to any number marker for the second, and then all the way back in for the third. Center stage combo, as you might imagine, is simply the reverse of that, which would be in, number, out. Once that's done, hang out in your clock spots and prepare to soak whichever towers happen to drop beside you. Melee close, ranged far. They're extremely slow, so no excuses on missing one. Feel free to go all the way up to three hearts here. It'll just make your life easier later. After 11 towers drop, run out for a chariot, max melee is unsafe here, and hearts will spiral out from the boss. These fucking things are much larger than they appear, and can feel very unfair. Stay the hell away from them and be careful with any abilities that move your character. I've stardivered into one more than once. Melee should get behind the spiral and rotate with it for a free dodge. A few will spawn on the outside and drift in, but not many, and they're easily avoided. Halfway through the hearts, someone will get a stack marker. This distributes four hearts among whoever's hit. If you're not already on three hearts from the towers, this is your responsibility. Thankfully, at this point, the middle of the room happens to be pretty clear, so running through to hop in isn't a big deal. And finally, you'll get the other stage combo. Here it's center, so in, number, out. Surprisingly, beat one doesn't need to be perfect. One player can make one mistake and still not give the boss a stack. Don't be that guy, though. Nobody likes that guy. Another raid wide will then end the phase. You'll get a random tank buster and then head into the most aggravating part of the fight. It's the bees. Oh, no, not the bees! Not the bees! Ah! Oh, no, my eyes! My eyes! Ah! They spawn randomly and target randomly, so it turns into a giant mess if you don't try to control where they go. Some groups just say, fuck it, we ball, and YOLO them, but the vast majority are doing Mario Kart. Stack up tight to the north before the first B targets. Wait for three lines to go out, then begin moving clockwise as a unit, just enough to stay ahead of the bees. The tighter you stack, the better, and don't fall behind the group. Getting stuck will likely get you cornered and killed. Knockback immunity does work, so you can pop it halfway through for some extra insurance to survive a single hit. There's probably a better, more brain-dead way to solve this, but it's not been found yet. Once you've got the hang of it, Mario Kart is fairly reliable, though. Now, we're going into Beat 2. This one's a little less hectic. First, Honey will store spread or pairs for the end of the phase. This is a much longer memory test, so a macro to leave a note in chat would be very helpful. You could also just type out 4 or 8 between GCDs. You'll start with 0 or 1 heart. Zeros go south, 1's north, and wait for baited puddles. The zeros will rotate clockwise to dodge for each round of puddles, with a stack marker resolving between sets 3 and 4, so stay tight. The marker will give all four of you two hearts. 
As for the ones group, two of them will get simple AoEs, and the other two will be soaking a pair of towers. Again, they're super slow, so just YOLO them. You don't need a fancy priority system for lethargic mechanics. Now everyone's got two hearts, and an upcoming bread and butter combo will bring everyone up to three. No room for error on this one. It's exactly the same as you're used to, just pink instead of yellow. If you forgot what's stored and nobody made a note, watch how everyone else is moving and copy them. You'll probably be fine, unless everyone else forgot too. In which case, get fucked. The second you come out of the phase, honey will store, spread, or pairs again, so make another note. Seeing a pattern yet? Just in case you weren't sick of them, the line bees are coming back. Before you panic, these ones are fixed and always make a square pattern. One support and DPS will then get a marker which will drop a puddle. Support takes theirs out to the northwest, DPS southeast, dropping the poison right about here to leave some space while avoiding the far bee. Bees go off and then the pattern rotates. This will repeat three times, with everyone dropping their puddles counterclockwise. Then, for the last set of bees, you'll get stack markers instead of puddles. You're probably meant to take these out too, but there's just barely enough space to handle them in the middle. Stack up tight in the corners and you should be golden. Mommy will do a random tank buster and then finally use the stored mechanic. It's been well over a minute by now. If you're like me, you probably need a reminder. Seriously, leave those notes, they really help. Beat 3 is the most technically challenging. The first thing to look at is your debuff. You've all got a long or short timer on massive defamation AoEs which cover nearly half the room. Once you've identified that, guess what? You're not gonna believe this. Honey will once again store spreader pairs. Definitely make a note of this one in chat. It's gonna be even harder to remember. Then she'll hit you with a stage combo. In, number, out, or out, number, in. Right when it's done, four towers will spawn, which are long timer's responsibility. But right now, they're a giant bait. They're about to be exploded, and if you're early, you'll die and cause a wipe. Instead, longs will hug together in the very middle of the room, while shorts take their defamations out along their clock spots to the very edge of the room. Use this time to orient yourself and locate your tower, which corresponds to your color. Once the booms go off, go, go, go! There's not a lot of time to get in these ones, so you've gotta know where you're going right away. Then, the sequence repeats. Dodge the stage combo, take the long timers all the way out to your clock spots, while shorts hug under the boss and soak the second set of towers. Finally, the stored bread and butter mechanic. We just did a lot, so refer to that note if you need to. Get through this cleanly and you've almost certainly got a kill. One last tank buster before the final phase of the fight. Rotten Heart hits unbelievably hard. Make sure you're in your clock spots and use kitchen sink mitigation, especially if she's got some stacks. This last phase is super free. You'll each get an alpha or beta debuff with different timers. All this is is a standard Stagger Volans mechanic. All you need to do is run forward when you see that number hit 5 seconds, kiss your buddy, go boom, and run back out. You literally have one job. Honey will throw out a raid wide here and there, but as long as you promptly cleanse at 5 seconds, the timing just works out. Afterwards, you just gotta plant your feet and beat her ass. Or thorax, or whatever. Once again, enrage should be a non-factor as long as you didn't gift sub a bunch of stacks. I'm pretty sure CBU3 didn't retune the DPS checks this tier to account for all the crazy buffs that were in the patch. I cleared on my very first clean pull into Rotten Heart. Be gone! Thought? Look at that! We got it! Easy! Way ahead on damage! Not even close on damage. Well done. Challenger. God damn victory tastes sweet. Woo! I've got no complaints here. Appropriate difficulty, banging music, good theme, shitty parts in the middle. It's just a really cool fight. A lot of it's fun. Definitely my favorite I second turn so far. The story might be complete shit this expansion. Ishikawa, please come back. I miss you so much. This fucking cat is absolutely insufferable and I'm a furry so you know it's bad. But the battle God, content is like better than ever. Shit. Pandemonium's Unreal. in shambles. I hope this helped, and expect M3S out within a few days. Till then, like, comment, subscribe, and may you be blessed.